Okay, my friends, this is what you're going to need for the guacamole. It's going to be avocados, Roma tomatoes, garlic, chopped, cilantro or coriander, salt, and then also some serrano peppers or jalapeno peppers will do. Serrano peppers, if you keep the seeds in the inside, it's going to be hot. If you take the seeds out, it's not going to be as hot, but it will still have the taste. I'd rather keep the seeds in. That's what you're going to need. A mixing bowl to mix in. Something to put the guacamole in. A spoon, a fork, and some chips. All right? So what I like to do, here we go. All right, so here we go. This is a uh, guacamole, backstage guacamole, I like to call it, because what I like to make it is um, during the shows and backstage that we can take home. These are all the ingredients that we told you earlier. Avocado, garlic, cilantro, or coriander. Some tomatoes, I took the middles out, just have the outside. And then also some serrano peppers, jalapeno peppers, your chips, some salt, a little bit of lime. Here we go. So what I like to do is I like to cut the avocado inside. Try not to cut yourself, all right? And then it makes it a lot easier just to scoop it in and it's kind of already all cut. So we're gonna get those out. No problem, no problem. Just make sure you have some good music going on in the background. A little something for that fiesta. Oops, got a little bit of the skin there. And then just take some time, visit with friends. Maybe a little sangria or something. Whatever to your likings. So we're gonna put all of this inside the bowls. All right. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna get a fork. I want my hands a little bit. Tilt that a little bit and just squish it. Squish those little squares down, break them up. Break them up. Then once you got them kind of squished down, not too much, it all depends. If you like it real creamy, you can make it a little bit creamy. I like it to have it some kind of chunk to it sometimes. Then we're just gonna start mixing it and squishing some more against the sides, mixing it, squishing some more. You can see it's already starting to take that little bit of guacamole look to it. All right. That's about that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my serrano peppers here. I like to add just quite a bit because I like to be a little spicy. Now also, uh, I like a decent amount of garlic because garlic gives a little tang to it. I'm gonna add my chopped tomatoes into there. Yes. A little bit of coriander or cilantro. A little sprinkle in there. Not too much. Well, depending on how much of your uh, avocados or guacamole you have in there. A little squeeze of the lime. Just give it a little oomph, and then also so it doesn't decolor. A little bit of salt. Get your fork back out. Squish a little bit, not too much. You don't want to break up the tomato and everything. Give it a good mix. Find yourself a little bowl. And there you go. Backstage guacamole.